Welcome fellow productivity seekers. I'm Garland Coulson, Captain Time. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to create an ebook cover using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. So this is Adobe Creative Cloud Express. It used to be called Adobe Spark. So some of you have seen some of my previous videos uh, with Adobe Spark, you might go, what's the difference? It is Adobe Spark. Uh, I'm currently using the free account, but you can certainly upgrade. Upgrade isn't very expensive. And uh, that will give you access to more things. So. Up here, you can search for templates. Over here is your home button, or you can go to your projects, brands, libraries, etc. You can cl click here to create a new project, or you can create a new project such as an Instagram post, a Facebook post, based on some of the templates they've given you here. But we want to do book, book covers. So today we're going to look at an ebook cover. Let's just type in book cover. And we can find out if there's any templates for that. And we found 741. Wow. So lots, lots to be able to choose from here. Uh, the ones with the crown are the, pr the uh, premium ones. So you have to upgrade for that. But you can see there's still lots of really good book covers here that are available even to the non-premium. So you would just really look through here until you found one you thought looked really interesting. Then you click on it. You go start from. So I'm going to start from this one here, which I kind of like the look of. It looks looks professional, although it might be a little boring. I might have to juice it up a bit. So the fun thing here is there's some things you can do right off the bat. You can play around with the colors by changing this, you know, going like that. Some fun things to do. You can, um, you know, change some design layouts, like if you like it more like that or more like that. And again, you can always undo, you know, by by using the buttons up here. So a number of changes you can make just as is. If you'd like to edit uh, some of these, it's kind of confusing because you click on this and you go, well, what's, I can replace an image, but what's the image? What am I looking at? So down here, it will show you the layers that you're working with. So there's actually nine different layers. So this top layer is really just a frame. And if I grab it, you'll see that's just a frame there. So it, this has been assembled from many other layers, which is kind of interesting. So if I want to change the logo here, uh, uh, the icon I can go replace and then over here I can look for um, lo uh, icons and let's say let's try assistant looking for somebody who looks like a looks like a worker or something okay let's try this one okay and then down here you can put the author so I can buy you know Garland Colson Captain Time. And then, of course, I can also drag this a bit if I want to, you know, make that, you know, so you, you can edit any of these by dragging and doing those kinds of things. So, what's my next layer? Uh, the workings of a business. Let's go um, hire a virtual assistant checklist. And then we can go. Find another layers, you know, other layers here. Let's see. Let me try to find that fundamental layer. There it is. The fundamental understanding. Um, So find, hire, and work effectively with VAs. And again, you know, I can change the colors. I can change a lot of those different theme things. Um, if I want to change, if, if I can add a photo, if I want to add a photo to this page instead, I can click over here and go photos. And then I could type um, virtual assistant. And it will search for some common stock photos for me. Or I could have uploaded photos from there as well. So let's say I wanted to use uh, this one. I can click on that and that's added to photo. So. so that's how you can create an ebook cover. You can then, of course, save it. You can download it as a PNG, uh, which is good for printing, uh, JPEG, which is good for um, the web and things like that, or PDF if you wanted to, you know, just, uh, you know, create a PDF for somebody. So that's just really the basics of being able to create a, an ebook cover. Um, again, you can play with the different layers and do more editing. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with it, and there's probably other tutorials out there as well you can look at, look for.
Thank you so much for listening. Please hit the like and subscribe button on this YouTube video to help others find us. Thank you so much for listening. Bizmentum, online business networking, reimagined.